Hello and welcome to uh, workflow learning session. So in this, uh, so we we so this particular labs we have been building a vacation proposal uh, of vacation approval uh, workflow. So the next step we are going to build. Uh, so so far we have done, uh, we have we have built the uh, the the layout. We have built the uh, the the attributes. Now we are going to use the attributes to build messages. So we are going to continue to build on the vacation request. So make sure your workflow builder is installed at this point. And as always, the zip file will be available for you to download. So we are in the process of building the workflow uh, workflow for the vacation request. This is the simple uh, solution that I have used probably uh, five six years ago uh, you know this this would help you to get some understanding of how the workflow works um, you know we will we'll go through as we build more complex rules it'll get more clear um, so as of now we have built the basic layout and we have defined the attributes so our next goal is to build messages so in order for the messages let's go ahead and open the workflow so I have opened the workflow. I'm going to right click on messages, click get a new message. Uh, let's go ahead and start the internal name. So I am going to start with the internal name and display name. Priority is normal. And uh, in the body tab, I'm going to put this text. So if you notice these uh, ampersand values, those are the attributes that, you, that we have defined. So I will show you how to tie these attributes next. Let's go ahead and click apply and click OK. Let's go ahead and add new messages again. So one more thing, the result tab. So make sure you go back to the other one. Edit properties in the result tab. Uh, display name should be and make sure you select uh, approval as the lookup type so here these are the choices that they have approve or reject so uh, I'm going to display please approve check this proposal click apply click OK so I'm going to do the same thing before we open and build the next message. So there are other things we have to do, but I'll, I'll do this first, then I'll come back to it. Location rejected messages in the body text. And add this. Okay, click apply. Click OK. Go ahead and do one more. For the approved message, location approved, approved in the body. I'm going to put the so I've set the priority to high. Um, if you know it doesn't, those things doesn't matter. If if you want, you can try that. Click OK. So at this point, we have uh, built the messages. So now, next thing is, so if you look at these messages. We have defined the attributes. How do we tie these attributes into these messages? That's the next part we have to do. So if we do a verify, we will still see errors. So if you see more errors, you can see that uh, if you look at these bottom ones, it'll say cannot find token and all this stuff. So let's go ahead and uh, fix those. So yeah, let's go ahead and start with the approved messages. So we are using requester, approver, from date, to date, and comments. So we want to drag requester approval from date to date I think that's it uh, comments okay so those are the fields that are tied to this the question application proposal requester approval from date to date requester approval from date to date same with rejected see them okay let's go ahead and bring all these variables
and comments. So in the vacation proposal messages, let's go ahead and bring the comments, the URL, and the form. Let's go ahead and change this to the source as respond. Click apply. So at this point, we have created the messages. We have the notification, we have the messages, we have the attributes, and we have tied the attributes to the messages. But we haven't tied the notification to the messages. So we would, let's go ahead and ver verify it. We would still see those error messages. So that's fine. We'll in the next lab, we will continue to fix it. I'm going to save it as a next version. So I would know it pick next. So let's go ahead and save it. So uh, this concludes this lab. So in this lab, we basically tied the attributes. We basically built the messages and tied the attribute to the messages. So in the next few labs, we will continue to build on the same lab. Um, so th this is going to be more complex as we go along. So uh, uh, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and sign off, and I'll continue to see. I'll see you in the next lab. Thank you.